Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back here with the last vendor wax haul video for this month, I think. Um, so this will focus on another Try Me sampler that I got from L3. So I'm a little bit addicted to these things. This is the third one that I have bought. Um, so I've got two videos up from the last two. Um, I just I just find them so fun. So a Try Me sampler is um, a pack of 50 samples that L3 does. So if you've ordered from L3 before, you've probably gotten samples like this in your order. She usually sends like a little pack of three. She, the team. Um, so yeah, they're selling these packs of 50 of those single um, sample things. Uh, they're $30 a pack normally plus shipping. Um, and I just think they're great. Like L3, if, if you bought from L3 before, you know, she has those massive restocks, hundreds of cents, just more than you could possibly ever try, right? There's always something for everyone. And I find that there's always stuff that I'm curious about, but just not enough to pay to buy. Um, whether that be single cents that I'm kind of curious about or just blends that kind of look okay, but I either have to cut back my list or... So I find that this, these samplers have been giving me the opportunity to try some of those scents. Obviously, you don't get to pick what you get, so you can't, you know, guarantee that you'll get the scents that you had your eye on. But I have had a few pop up uh, in the samplers that I've had. Um, I've had some single oils that I was curious about, and I've also had quite a few scents that I never, ever in a million years would have tried. And some of them, you know, it confirms that I was right to not want to go near them. Um, but some of them actually work out to be quite good or different to what I expected or, you know. So I just find that it's been a really kind of informative um, thing for me. I'm not normally a mystery box type person because most vendors do, um, you get less sense, like bigger shapes but less sense. And I just find with that, you know, if there's three cents in a mystery box that I don't like um, in, say, a box of 10 cents, then that's a big chunk of what I got that I didn't like. Whereas with this, I just find that, you know, there's always enough in there that I learn about that I find that it's good enough value um, for me. So, and it works for me as well because these little samples, I have three different rooms in my house where I only have one warmer. So I have the two bedrooms, my bedroom, my son's room, and then my office. So I tend to melt these in my office. Um, I know if you only have you know, multiple, if you have multiple warmers or hot plates in, or plates in every room, uh, this is not going to be so successful for you because you only get, you know, one enough really for, for one, um, one warmer. So that's a factor as well. But for me, it works really well. I will say this is probably the last one that I will get for a while because I have bought three. Um, I'm trying to sort of melt five-ish or more samples a week, but there's 50. So you think about that, it's kind of adding up. Um, so I actually don't have any more space in my sample box. Um, I'm thinking because there are, I have been through this quickly already and there are quite a few summer scents, which makes sense. It's coming into summer for those of you in the US. So I might pull those aside and put them in a bag and put them away um, and just concentrate. And I'll go through the ones I've got as well. And if there are any summery ones there, I'll pull them out as well. And I'll just focus on melting the things that work for this time of year so bakery stuff or earthy you know just stuff that I, you know pretty much anything that's not very summery um and that might you know help me kind of manage my space a little bit but yeah, i do think i will be holding off on these samplers again until later in the year um and i've just remembered i was going to get my spare phone to look up the scent notes of certain things so just bear with me a sec because yeah there was a few scents um that in here that I think for customer blends and it's just got the name it doesn't have the scent notes so yeah I'll have to look those up all right so I'm just going to start picking and talking so no particular order uh the first thing I have and these videos do run on because it's 50 cents it's a lot to get through so zucchini bread pecan and sugared shortbread in a just square this smells really good so I used to really dislike all pecan scents, no matter what, I just didn't like it. Then I sort of got introduced gradually to pumpkin pecan waffles and started to really enjoy that. I still don't like pecan praline type scents, I find them very sickly, but 
with her delicious zucchini bread. This is a really, really delicious and just nicely nutty, warm bakery scent. So I really actually like that one. Um, I'm quite surprised because I would buy more of that. Cookies with the call clauses and coconut extreme. So I'm not sure what cookies with the clauses is, but I'll see if I can find it. I've got the group open. I probably should be searching on her like scent list, but that, that, that doesn't always have everything on it. Um, so cookies with the claws is his Santa's on keto and Mrs. Claus is cookies with a side of sugar milk. I actually like this, but I think it's because I can smell a lot of the coconut extreme. <coughs> I totally went to pause before I coughed um, and missed. So apologies for that. Yeah, I don't get a lot of like a milky bake, milky cookie bakery here. I get coconut extreme. So I quite like it. Like there is a kind of cookie undertone to it, but yeah. I may have to make a call to stop this because my cough has been fine, but it seems like as soon as I start smelling wax, that sets it off. So that's not great. But anyway, uh, patchouli. So there are a few single oils in here, I've noticed, um, which is good because I can test them out. So I like her patchouli. I've always liked it in blends. It doesn't smell super, it does smell earthy, but it doesn't have that kind of dirty, kind of hippie thing that some patchouli scents get. It actually smells quite musky and feminine. Yeah, it's definitely got like musky feminine perfume vibes with that sort of earthiness. So that's good. Strawberry kolaches. So I've actually, I actually have this. I've got it twice. I think I've got a bunt pack and I have um, like a single bunt from the kolache sampler that she did. And I do, I enjoy it. So kolaches to me is a very dry, rich, kind of buttery pastry. It's not always my favourite, but I do enjoy it blended with quite sweet things. I feel like for me to enjoy it, it needs to have something sort of sweet and syrupy to sort of balance out the heaviness of the, the pastry. And so this was strawberry. It's not like my favourite bakery, but it works well. So I do enjoy that. I might send that sample on to somebody else though, just because I already have enough of that. So let somebody else experience it. That's the other thing I like about these samplers. They are great for, you know, for those scents. If I get stuff, not that I've had that much that I already have, but pardon me, if I do get scents I've already tried or just definitely will not melt, um, it just make, they make great extras for packages and stuff. So it's just, a, it's a win, 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 win all round. Santa's on Keto and Strawberry Pound Cake. <clears throat> um, Santa's on Keto is like a brown sugar bakery, I think. This really just smells like her Santa's, I mean, her strawberry pound cake though. And I'm not the biggest fan of her strawberry pound cake on its own. It's very plasticky. I think, um, I was listening to Danny just before and I think she was saying like, it smells like those kind of strawberry kid doll things, like, you know, toys that are scented in like a baked plasticky strawberry scent. And that's what her strawberry pound cake smells like to me. So I, and that's pretty much all I can smell in that one. So yeah, not a big fan there. I don't, her strawberry pound cake can go well in a blend for me. It depends. Um, but yeah, when it's on its own or, you know, with something simple like that, it's not for me. Baccarat Rouge 540 type. I'm not familiar with this scent at all. I should keep showing you the shapes. This is, I don't mind it, but it's kind of just generic women's perfume. Like, it reminds me of when I was a kid, like, going into the perfume section at Maya. Maya is, like, a department store here in um, uh, Australia. It's, I don't know, if Macy's maybe? You know, you have department, you would have had department stores where they had, like, a big perfume section. That's basically what Maya is. Um, and this just reminds me of walking through that section. So I don't know. It's okay. 
but I don't think I love it. Like it just, it just, yeah, it just kind of smells like generic, lots of perfumes coming at you at one particular time. So it's um quite deep. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Can't really put my finger on anything in that. Nug Champa. So I like Nug Champa in small doses. I'm not like, it's not one I melt all the time, but it is, it's a nice incense scent. On its own, it has a little bit of a soapiness to it, I think. It's a very distinctive incense type. If you smelled Nug Champa, you know Nug Champa. I don't know if I'm going to melt this one solo, but I do enjoy it in blends. And I do like it in, like, this one's by the way, it's, so they've sent that and then, like, it's like a tiny extra bit of a pour of one. Um, I like it in the unusual places. Like, I've had it blended with, like, blue sugar and cookie, I think, and it was actually quite interesting. Or cotton candy and cookie. So I might use that um, in an unexpected way. Who knows? Uh, raspberry Whip. Fruity Pebbles Sugar Cookie Royale. This is a pebbly heart thing. This smells like Fruity Pebbles. So that kind of lemony cereal scent. It smells like cough drops. Like Vicks cough drops. Yeah, it mostly smells like a kind of sugary uh, Vicks cough drop. Oops, sorry, itchy ear. Vicks cough drop kind of thing. Like an, weirdly the orange ones. Um, I don't really get any bakery from it, but I do. I don't usually when you take those fruity pebbles and um, scents like that. I don't generally smell, smell the bakery with them. I find the cereal kind of overwhelms. But that's smelling less like cereal and more like a cough drop. So I don't. I don't know why that is for that one. Beach Nights Waffle Cone and Cotton Candy. So I really enjoy her Beach Nights. I feel like I'm in the minority in that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think people like her Beach Nights. But I just feel like people always say, you know, they love Teddy Bees, Beach Nights, Sassy Girl Aromas. Um, and I think that's because they smell like the authentic Beach Nights. And that's fine. I just don't like that scent anymore. I've overdid it. I'm done with it. But um, L3s, I still really enjoy <laughs> So I'm glad hers is different because I can still enjoy it. It's To me, it's a lot more salty. It doesn't smell like salty sea air, but it kind of smells like a salty sea air variant. I don't get the much of the s'mores and that kind of side of things. And yeah, I really, really like this. I've been really enjoying salty blend, like salty sea air blends with sweet. So salty sea air and cotton candy. And this is like in that zone. Yeah, it smells like a different sort of salty sea air, cotton candy, slight waffle cone. I really like that. So. <clears throat> uh, banana nut bread, chocolate chip cookie dough and waffle cone. So this is. First I thought it was like a sad pumpkin. <laughs> um, but it's a fish. Oh, or a light bulb, but no, it's a fish. Um, but I was just like, why is that pumpkin carving so sad? Um, <laughs> I might melt this and see. I'm not always the biggest fan of chocolate scents, but this does smell a bit like um, an actual banana bread with chocolate in it, which I like. I used to make banana Nutella nothing, nothing, muffins. And this reminds me a little bit of that. But there's also a bit of a tone from the chocolate chip cookie dough. So I'm not sure, but I feel like it could be okay. It is reminding me of something I baked, which is always a good thing, you know. Strawberry pretzels. So I had this in my last one. Um, I think it's quite popular, but I'm not a fan. I do love, she's getting all of these different unique little shapes. Like, um, I know these ones, I've never seen these in like a puppy pack before. So, um, little old timey cars. Um, so that's very cute. Yeah, I don't, her pretzel has this weird yeasty, almost beer, like, like flat beer tone. 
that I just don't like. And then, yeah, the straw. It, sometimes, in some blends, it can work, um, but it tends to be more background if I can tolerate it. It's not background in that. So that's not for me. Sugared Lavender Twist. Um, this one's just a square. I kind of like this. Um, that's been one of the biggest things with this. I never want to take a risk on lavender scents because so many of them I don't love. But getting lavenders in these samplers has been really helpful for me to learn what sort of lavender blends I like and what I don't. Because every now and then I really enjoy it. It does seem like I like a good sweet lavender. Not all vendor sweet lavenders because some of them smell like, especially if they're kind of lavender creamy, I don't nod to that at all. But yeah, kind of sugary scents blended with lavender. I'm, I've been enjoying, at least from L3. I, I don't know why, L3 just seems to do them well for me. I think some people find them too sweet. But yeah, this just smells like a really nice sugary lavender, so I like it. I like it. It does remind me a bit of Sweet Dreams, which is like a cotton candy um, lavender one. But that one, obviously it smells like cotton candy. So I guess if you want, um, if you want, uh, you know, a sweet lavender, but you don't want it to smell like cotton candy, then Sugar Lavender Twist might do it. Uh, whipped Cream. kind of nutty. I'm just going to blend with this. Um, but it has a nuttier tone than what I would have expected. It's interesting. It smells really nutty. Maybe it's not. I think I have had one or two mislabeled ones in these. Possibly it's mislabeled. But it could it could be just kind of creamy, but just yeah, I don't know. Uh, still sugar, vanilla lace, and flannel sheets. This one's not bad. It is mostly flannel sheets, and flannel sheets is not one I'm like crazy about. I can smell steel sugar. I really enjoy steel sugar. But it's not very strong. And just the vaguest hint, <coughs> slightest whisper of vanilla lace. The more I smell it, the more I can smell kind of the girly sweetness from the vanilla lace, but it's still not very strong. But I do feel like it makes the flannel sheets a little bit more palatable overall, because flannel sheets is very kind of kind of almost chokingly masculine for me so and this while it smells a lot like flannel sheets it smells a lot like I feel like I could melt it so uh, naked booms on the beach bums on the beach booms I'm guessing it's a boom boom blend they usually are um let me see hopefully Facebook doesn't penalize me for searching for naked bums on the beach Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this one easily. I think it was a customer blend, but anyway, I'm not going to go drilling down to try and find that. So it's this shape that always confuses me. I don't know if it's a bus or a radio. I think it's a bus, but. Yeah, so I can definitely smell. Uh, boom boom and something fruity I think for some reason the pie day list is coming up did it get poured on pie day I wouldn't have expected it to because it's not um, a pie scent I suppose not all of them were though La the last one of these samplers I got, um, the almost everything on it was on one 
restock list. So it was really easy to find like everything. I'm really just, I should give this up, but I'm really just keen to see what's in it. Okay, it doesn't look like it's on the list. I don't know. But yeah, I can definitely smell Boom Boom and I think something a little bit fruity. Yeah, I think I have to give up. <clears throat> it's okay. I'm a little bit over Boom Boom sense. It's maybe a little bit too much Boom Boom, but it's okay. Alright, another house blend. Sweets for my sweet. And this one is a couple of little shapes. She's doing more of this too, like little things. So this one's like a starfish. And... I don't know. Is it a cactus? A candle? Alright, so this has the sort of strawberry scent that I don't like. The kind of it's kind of candy and chemical like. I'm checking this one too. Yeah, it's got this weird chemically tone to it that I don't like. Um this is not coming up either. Feel free if you know what the scent notes are for some of these things that I can't find. Um Please feel free to put them in the comments. But yeah, I don't like it. It's got that chemically strawberry scent that I don't like. And it's sort of, it smells like strawberry candy, but in a not good way. For me. Cotton candy. I have a trick tart in here, cotton candy. I don't use it as much as I thought I would. I enjoy her cotton candy. It doesn't actually smell like cotton candy to me, though. It smells sweet. Um, it has a bakery tone to it. I don't know why. I feel like that's just my nose, but I swear I get a weird bakery tone from it. I enjoy her cotton candy. I think it blends really well with bakery. So I don't, but I don't know what that tone is about, but it's just what I get. Blonde moment. So this one is like a fruity kind of champagne like scent. I'm not the biggest blonde moment fan. This actually doesn't smell that bad though, right here, right now. Um, sometimes it leaves a little sour for me, but right now it's not doing anything too offensive. But it's a, I think it's a tiny bit fizzy too, maybe. I don't know. It blends well with fizzy, I know that. Um, it's not a scent I really dislike. It's just not one I love either. Uh, Spring Breeze. So I think I saw Jessica D raving about this. I'm not like a big laundry fan, and I'm assuming it's laundry. It's actually, um, it actually smells like more like really pretty body care or shampoo or something to me. Yeah, I totally feel like I've smelled this in a shampoo. It's kind of pretty and floral. But it definitely has like a soapy, a soapiness to it. It's pretty. It's not bad. So yeah, it's not actually so much laundry, but it's definitely body care. Cashmere cedar, strawberry musk, and purple sandalwood. So I usually love like me a cashmere cashmere cedar blend. This is good. Um, it smells a bit like in like incense and wood. I feel like I get a lot of the purple sandalwood. Slightly plasticine I don't know why. Maybe the cashmere cedar, sometimes that can lean a little... I normally like cashmere cedar, but sometimes it can lean a little bit plasticine-like in a blend. So yeah, there's something in there I'm not sure about, but yeah, I kind of get incense, wood, musk, definitely get musk. I can't smell cashmere cedar overtly, which makes is what's making me think maybe that's giving it the weird tone, but it's just it's just how it's blended, I think. Grassy pants. Let's see if I can find this one. Nope. 
watermelon and strawberry grassy pants. Uh, strawberries, fresh cut grass, sweet lavender and watermelon. That does not sound like a blend for me. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm, look, this is a customer creation. Um, I'm not sure whose. Um, I'm sure it works wonderfully for people who love scents like that. Look at these cute little fruities. Um, I just, I'm not a watermelon fan. Yeah, no, 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 no. Very, very watermelon, candy watermelon, I'd say. Very fresh green, like you do get that green grassy kind of scent. And the the lavender, I can smell that too. So look, um, it's very strong, I'm sure if you like those sorts of notes, you would love it, but that is not for me. This one will be caramel apple and zucchini bread. So I actually have caramel apple cinnamon sugar and zucchini bread, and I love that. That is, I have um, like a doggy bag of a custom. Yeah, this is delicious. It smells almost exactly the same. I do like the addition of the cinnamon sugar. It doesn't make it spicy. It just adds a bit of warmth. But for some reason, her caramel, I'm not normally a caramel apple fan, but that with the zucchini bread, I just... It's so delicious. So, really good. Still prefer my one with the cinnamon sugar, but that is great as well. Blue sugar Egyptian cotton. So this one is in the piggy. This is really nice. Sometimes L3's blue sugar can be a little bit kind of harsh to me, like a little bit nose abrasive, a little bit overly masculine. I like blue sugar to be smoother and um, a bit more kind of a sort of caramel elements and for some reason I wouldn't have expected this but for some reason the Egyptian cotton seems to really smooth it out it smells clean it smells a little sweeter than blue sugar normally does but not like real sweet mmm that's really good very surprising it's not what I would expect but that's it I'm not that familiar with Egyptian cotton so possibly that's just how it smells, but yeah, it's not what I would have thought of. Uh, Boardwalk Mellow Clouds Amber Oud. So, lots of hearts in this one. The last sampler I got had lots of the peas. I think it's just random. So this is pretty. Um, it's not too strong on the Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, which is good because I'm a little bit eh, over Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. It's very kind of sensual and sexy the way you would expect from an amber oud scent, but it's not like too oody either. Not like too woody. It's just a really pretty kind of feminine scent, so I like that. Fluff and fold. So this has to be a laundry scent. <clears throat> has to, has to, has to. Yep. Laundry. I'm not very good at describing laundry because I'm not a laundry melter. I don't mind it. I wouldn't melt it solo. I might blend it with something. Just clean and laundry detergent like. So not like a real harsh strong one. So it's nice. Lighthouse. So Lighthouse I've had before. Um, has like a lot of kind of fruity, airy, slightly beachy scent notes to it. And florals, it's a, like it's fruity floral. It's it reminds me a little bit of Super Tart's Jaws in that it's kind of yeah, it's fruity floral. It's got a bit going on. Um, I find it pretty. I didn't. It smells strong here, but I didn't find it through particularly well. And it's just not my the sort of scent I gravitate to. It is very kind of pretty floral. It's complex, but it is to me overall, it's a floral. So, like, it's got beach, it's definitely got beachy kind of salty bree sea breezes and stuff, but yeah, it's okay. Vanilla birch, vanilla balsam, and white woods. This one is like a cute little candy. Love it, but I love pretty much anything with vanilla balsam is going to be a win with me. This is just that smooth, sweet vanilla balsam with a bit more of a woody edge. 
So yeah, I really enjoy that. We'll enjoy melting that. I am at the beach. So this was a customer creation. I know that much. Where are you? I am at the beach. Saltwater taffy, salty sea air, and adipose. Oh, and naked bums on the beach was butt naked, boom boom, cream, and coconut coast. So, there you go. Um, two little buses. Oh, no. They're different. Is it a train? Oh, okay. I've been getting so confused with these shapes because I only ever get one at a time. And I was like, it doesn't look like a bus. It doesn't look like, is it a radio? But it looks like, um, cause this one has like the little slopey front bit. And then this one looks like a carriage. I get it now. Did I read out the notes on this one? Saltwater taffy, salty sierra and adipose. It's not bad. It's not, I'm not normally a big saltwater taffy fan. Um, but like I said, I'm into at the moment salty sea air and sweetness together. I just have been liking that lately. And this is salty sea air and sweet, but with a bit of creaminess from the adipose. So I, I don't mind that. I like it. I don't think I'd go crazy melting it. Um, and I'll put it aside for summer. Maybe by the time summer comes, I'll be completely in a different headspace, but it's good. Sugar cookie dough, um, pie crust and mac apple. So the pie crust doesn't often smell like anything to me in blends, unfortunately. That's why I didn't order anything from Pie Day because I just went, the pie crust never comes through for me. So, and almost all of the blends had pie crust. Yeah, so I mostly smell mac apple. And kind of a vague but indistinct bakery so there is bakery there but i couldn't tell you i definitely couldn't tell you i can smell pie crust and i don't feel like i can tell you that there's sugar cookie dough either but there's more to it than just the apple so not a favorite but it's okay <clears throat> i do i really wish because pie crust does smell really good on its own it just doesn't it doesn't come up it doesn't shine <clears throat> it just doesn't come out in blends Ah, oh, so this is Lemon Love. Sorry, I should have in a star. Um, smells like a lemon curd, but sweeter. Let me just see if I can find what it is. Yeah, I can definitely smell lemon curd, but it's sugarier than lemon curd. Um, was this a customer blend too? <clears throat> don't know the list I'm scrolling through like has a lot of lemony scents but it doesn't a lighthouse with sea air white musk lavender cashmere amber tonka cedar plum so lots of lots of stuff going on in it um, come on lemon love let me find you I don't know. I just saw a post. Oh, it was in the post I was looking at before. Um, so this was Ashley Overly's blend. And this was lemon pound cake, lemon curd, pie crust, whipped cream, and lollipops. Okay. So yeah, I can smell the lemon curd and the lollipops. I can't really smell the pie crust, but like I said, pie crust just does not come through. Maybe a hint of like a lemon pound cake. I love lemon pound cake. It's actually one of my favorite lemon bakery scents. But I think it's getting a little bit overwhelmed by like the lemon curd and the lollipops for me. Um, lemon curd does tend to be very strong for me. So I think um, this is the kind of blend, if I could smell the pie crust more, I think this would be a lot more, you know, 
good for me but because I just did a lot of work in my nose that's why that blend kind of feels a little bit off on the ratios it's nice though uh, blue sugar today's October 3rd and zucchini bread so I actually ordered this it hasn't arrived it'll be in my next box um, because I really wanted more blue sugar zucchini bread I love blue sugar zucchini bread blends and I haven't had any for a while I've got a one from the pharmacist to order but Mm, something about blue sugar and zucchini bread together just create this really rich, kind of almost salty bakery. I can't say I can smell today's October 3rd though. Like at all. It definitely smells like blue sugar zucchini bread, but I'm not getting any extra bakery elements. I'm not getting any pilo. Maybe when it melts that'll come out but right now no nope, not there butt naked so this is this is more I think I don't know I got the, I'm just gonna call this one the sad pumpkin from now on I know it's a fish but to me it's a sad pumpkin I don't like this very much it kind of smells beachy but it's got a melon I don't like melon in general and especially in kind of beachy blends yeah it's got like just a melon note to it that I don't like warm vanilla sugar so I'm actually happy to have this solo I talk a bit about warm vanilla sugar because I seem to buy blends with it a lot it does seem to be get to be used a lot lately um warm vanilla sugar and I'm not I'm not familiar with it from Bath and Body Works and that's the thing you've got to remember when I do these videos is I'm often not familiar with the original scent that the vendor oils are inspired by um in blends warm vanilla sugar kind of smells soapy um but it also adds kind of like this fuzzy comforting kind of thing to a blend so i don't like it in bakeries because i just get it smells like soap in bakery but I do find, particularly in masculine blends, I find that it just kind of cuts the harsh body spray aspect to them a little bit. Or in woody blends, it just adds like this, makes it a little bit cleaner and just interesting. So I do like it, but it depends on the blend. And yeah, this just smells like really nice high-end soap to me. Like hotel soap, like you know, if you went and stayed at a really nice hotel and they just had really luxurious soap, that's what it smells like to me. So that pretty much perfectly explains why it works in some blends and doesn't in others for me. Sorry, these videos always run long. There's just so many scents. Uh, the beach is back, so let's see. Did this make it into a list of? customer blends nope I'm missing search the video is taking so long because of me searching for things so I'm sorry for that I should pause when I do this um watermelon beach glass and banana Oof, okay um so again not dissing anyone's blends i just banana watermelon not really for me um no <laughs> no it's it is it's watermelon and banana it's probably more watermelon than banana so if you like those scents if that combination inspires you you will love this but it is not for me i just don't like watermelon scents banana scents can be hit and miss banana with watermelon is better. Uh, island date night so I don't know I'm not gonna look this up it's taking too long so this one's got a really cute conversation heart and like a cube thing so this is okay pardon me it definitely smells island like like I get kind of tropical air and just a bit of like a guava -y kind of fruit. But then it smells, pardon me, very perfume-like. So I guess that's where the date night comes in because it smells... Not 
and the like, I don't think. But yeah, I could definitely picture this in like a feminine perfume. So it's not bad. I'm not crazy about it, but it's not bad. Uh, pink sugar and warm vanilla sugar. In a little piggy. This is not a bad combo. It's just pink sugar, but cleaner, kind of soapier. I don't mind it. Not like something I would, I probably wouldn't buy it, but I don't mind it. Uh, bitches at the Beach. This was a customer blend, I'm certain of that. Another star. That one's very, very, very kind of masculine salty, like very heavy salty. Has it got salty mariner maybe? Mm, let's find out. This is like seaweed salty. Um, someone described it that it smells like salty sea and a hint of coconut sunscreen. It smells much saltier than um, that. I don't know why though. Because it's just gold sugar, coconut, coast and copper tone. Why does it smell so salty? I don't think that's, I don't think that's it. Because I think I've had this. I cannot smell gold sugar. I think I can smell copper tone, but no, this is much saltier. I'm almost certain I've had this scent and it didn't smell like this. So this I think is a miss bag. I don't know why. It's fine. Coconut milk. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. This video is taking me away. I must be really chatty today plus looking for scents that I can't find because um yeah this video normally only takes me 40 minutes and I'm already past that so a hippopotamus for Christmas is adipose sugar cookie candy cane I actually kind of like it weirdly because I don't like um candy cane scents and her sugar cookie oil is very hit or miss well it's more miss but occasionally it works in a blend But the coconut milk is doing something. I actually like it. I can definitely smell the candy cane. But there's kind of a rich creaminess to it. A rich coconutty creaminess that I like. So there you go. Cranberry today is October 3rd. So this one, I actually did a custom. Well, it wasn't, I can't take credit for it. I got it as a sample and fell in love with it. Cranberry Woods and today is October 3rd. Um... This does not smell like that, though. Um, I have come to the realisation I don't like L3's Cranberry. I think this has just sealed the deal and confirmed it. It's sour to my nose. It's a very sour, fruity scent. And it completely overwhelms. So I can just smell a slight bakery here. But I mostly just get that sour, overwhelming cranberry scent. So I don't know. Cranberry Woods today is October 3rd. Fabulous. Um... I think it's on the website at the moment because I had it done as a custom and uh, yeah, so my customs got done recently. But yeah, the cranberry, no. Uh, Father Christmas, so this one, it's like that ornament. It smells nice. It's kind of subtle. It smells slightly fruity. It almost smells like it's got um, like tangerine or mandarin or something. Um, oh, this is that one that everyone talks about. A really bright, fresh nectarine. Okay. I, so it's nectarines and vanilla. So yeah, it is fresh and creamy. It is really nice. I can see why people like it. I actually do think I want to get it myself. But I'm going to say something. And I don't know if it's just the fruits. Either my nose is completely off. Or a nectarine in Australia smells different to maybe a nectarine overseas. Because this does not smell anything like a nectarine to me. This smells like a mandarin. 
and most mandarin scents don't really smell like oh they smell like the very sweetened like sometimes they call them clementine um here even though i know some places they use clementine and mandarin interchangeably but This smells like a mandarin, a creamy mandarin scent. So I like it. I really do like it. Um, I kind of, I think I avoided it because nectarine in wax, I think it's the same issue as some people have with peach scents in wax in that it smells just wrong. Nectarine in wax almost always smells wrong to me. So it's probably all just my nose being weird. Uh, buttermilk, but no, butter popcorn caramelized pralines. I've had this sample before. I don't, I don't like buttered popcorn. I don't like caramelized pralines. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate it as much as I used to. I think because I've come around on some of those really kind of sickly praline type scents. I used to hate them. Now, I still don't love it, but it's not as completely off-putting as it used to be once upon a time for me. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles, espresso and sugar cookie royale. So I think I've had this blend but with Palo Santo or with sugar shortbread. I can't remember. But it's good. It's delicious. I think I prefer the one that I have. I'm fairly certain. I'm almost certain instead of it's got sugared shortbread. So it's a little bit less thickly sweet. This one's a little bit oversweet, to be honest. It's not bad, but I, yeah, I definitely prefer the version that I've got. I think it's got Palo Santo and sugared shortbread. Yeah, I think it's espresso, um, pumpkin pecan waffles, Palo Santo, sugared shortbread. That is amazing. Dragon's Blood. So this is another one of those incense single oils. Yep, smells exactly like it. It's deep, it's earthy. Um... kind of hippie medicinal herbal kind of thing it's very strong i'm not i've i have enjoyed melting dragon's blood in the past but it's just so distinct i just don't want it i never i never think about wanting to melt it if that makes sense purple sandalwood in cashmere so this is pretty um purple sandalwood is kind of like a musky sandalwood it's less sandalwoody than sandalwood. It kind of has that pretty polished cashmere scent, so that's not bad. Getting to the end. Fresh cut grass. Uh, this one's a heart and then some extra little flaky bits. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> It does smell grassy, but there's a weird non-grassy tone in there. Almost aquatic and chemically. I don't know. I mean, I think I can blend it. I think I have had it in blends and it's been okay, but I would not melt that solo. Uh, blue sugar, midnight blue citrus, um, pink apple punch. So this one's carriage thing again this is really pretty i really like this one i mean midnight blue citrus i really enjoy it's kind of fruity but a bit polished and body care like i feel like it's kind of lifted up by the pink apple but then you know kind of moderated and anchored in the blue sugar so that i like i like that a lot might even get that one if it melts up well Sandalwood, just straight up sandalwood. Interesting, I've loved her blends with sandalwood. So I will blend this, I think. On its own, I'm not a huge fan. I get it's because it's to me it adds a real kind of warm, sunny woodiness to scents. I definitely get that, but no, there's something about it. But good for blending. It girl, no idea what it is. I'm not gonna look it up. It's taking too long. Um, kind of smells fruity. I 
cocktail like but then body care like then maybe like a suntan lotion kind of creaminess to it i don't know i'm not it's all right that beach so this is another um another customer blend i'm sure because there was lots of beach inspired names in there so this one a couple more cute shapes there's like a rainbow and a plant um where is that beach i just said i wasn't going to look them up and here i am looking it up <clears throat> So beach glass, that star gazer, lily, and coconut water. Yeah, so it's pretty. Floral, aquatic. Yeah, floral, aquatic. Don't know what else to say about it than that, but it is pretty. Last one. Dust pasta. So I'm guessing this is just like some sort of laundry arrangement um yes as soon as i say it, i'm like no i have to know what it is um our oh, fluff and fold was domestic goddess and pink chiffon so i kind of like that one that was earlier dustbuster is downy water lily jasmine rainstorm and green clover and aloe so that kind of explains why i think i do like it more than laundry It's kind of more spa-like than I'm into. But I think I like the depth that the rainstorm gives it. It's not overly heavy, but it's kind of spa-like, but with a little bit more atmosphere. So I kind of, I actually am interested to try that one. So that's it. That is the entire Try Me Sampler. Like I said, as long as I can, you know, keep the willpower i won't be getting another one of these for i want to hold out until halloween if i can i feel like autumn is probably a good time to get back into them um your autumn not mine um if you're in the us i know not everyone is but most of you are um so yeah anyway i'm gonna let it, i'm gonna leave it there i hope you're all doing really well i'll talk to you all again soon bye